Hey guys, uh, it's Pat Garvey here, uh, talking a little street photography. I was having a conversation with uh, a couple of friends the other day um, about street photography and what you go through to get an image. And I had an interesting story that I thought might be interesting um, to share with a broader group. So here I go. Um, before I get into the image that I took, it, this is a story of one image and how I got that image. Uh, so I'm going to show you the image in a second, but before I do that, a little bit about my camera. I shoot a Micro Four Thirds Olympus EM1 Mark II, soon to be a Mark III. Um, and this camera has to flip out LCD, which is key, and it also has touch focus. So it'll focus in the area that I touch, and I can also initiate tracking focus that way. So that's a key to the story. It also gives me the ability to hold the camera and hold it down low and then just touch it with my other hand, with my off hand to initiate the tracking focus. So that's, that's a key component. I'm gonna share my screen now and show you the image and talk, uh, I'll give you the anecdote about how I got the image. Okay, so this is the image. Uh, and as you can probably tell, this is the Google Street View of where I took the image. Um, so what attracted me to this subject was the fact that she was <clears throat> all dressed in black. She was dressed in black from head to toe, but she had this wonderful bright red umbrella. And this was obviously taken on a rainy day and uh, love to shoot in the rain. It's something I do as often as I possibly can. Of course, not so much these days. Um, but I think this was back in probably January or maybe even before the end of the year. Um, so I'm on Market Street. Um, FYI, this market at third is where we are here. Um, and this subject appeared. I was standing uh, about here. So I'm in the most easterly part of this big broad crosswalk right here. And as you can see in the photo, she's close, close to the middle. When I take the shot, she's somewhere in here. Um, so I'm standing here and, and shooting, just doing my thing. And I notice this woman when she comes up and waits right about where this guy is standing right here. And she's waiting to cross the street. So I notice her and my thought is, well, before I have a good shot of her, I need something good in the background, which means I need her to clear this side of the street, clear out from these paper boxes. So I'm thinking, boy, wouldn't it be great to get her out here where I can see all of this stuff, you know, I can get all this perspective in the background, which as you can see, I did. But here's what I needed to do. I had a 50 mil or I had a 25 mil micro four thirds lens on, which is a full frame equivalent of a 50. So she's here, she's at, at the, uh, the western edge of the crosswalk. So what I need to do is cross with her at the western edge of the crosswalk and shoot her while she's walking when she gets to this critical point where I can pick up all this stuff in the background, all this perspective. So I need to wait for the light. And of course, you need to do that anyway. <laughs> so always cross with the light, never step out into the street, uh, if you're not in a crosswalk. So this is job one. I have to cross with the light and stay in the crosswalk. She's about to cross. So I have to cross with her and I have to shoot her while we're both moving. And in addition to that, I've got other people that are coming the other way across the street. So presumably those people will come between me and her because I'm trying to separate myself from her while still staying in the crosswalk. So I have to do three things. I have to get her in focus and track her. Um, I have to get shoot her at, at the right position where I have the composition I need. And I also have to dodge the other people coming across the crosswalk who are going to get between me and her. And if somebody does get between me and her, I have to reacquire focus. So the way that I accomplished this was I just waited. I crossed with her. I kept the camera down low. I use the touch focus on the LCD to acquire her. I had to reacquire her, I think, two times, so a total of three. Um, I used a high frame rate, 
and uh, I acquired focus and shot very quickly. My camera does um, 15 frames a second mechanical shutter, so I can grab a lot of frames in a short period of time, and that's key too. So grab focus, camera down low, high, sh high, high frame rate, shoot a lot. If somebody comes in, in, in between us, got to reacquire, shoot more. Um, and I managed to get a shot that I was really happy with. And what's funny about this shot is just to, just to finish up the anecdote is that, uh, I actually didn't love this shot so much. Um, but I love taking it. And so that was a lesson for me Th there was a sense of accomplishment of sitting there waiting for the light, formulating the plan in my head, visualizing what I was going to do, how I was going to do it, where the camera was going to be and how I was going to accomplish everything. And then when the light turned green, boom, I had to go. I never would have, this chance is never coming back again. So I had to get it. And when I got to the other side of the street and looked at the LCD and see that I had gotten the shot, it was such a good feeling. And I think the reason why I never posted the image, I didn't post the image after I shot it was because I actually, this image makes me feel good. I love this image, not because of, of the outcome, because of the image. I love it because of what it was like, the f sense of adventure and the sense of accomplishment of getting this image, of being able to make a plan on the fly, execute it with limited amount of time and get the result I desired. And, and that's probably one of the main reasons I love street photography is because you got to move quick. It's super challenging. Um, but when you get it, it feels so good. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.